Hey there, Soul Shines! It's Michelle here, and it's Whip Wednesday. Do, do, do. Watch me whip, watch me crochet, watch me knit, knit, watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Whip Wednesday on a week when you hardly feel like you've done anything. In fact, on Monday, I literally how rude. I literally did not pick up a single yarn project. Um, yeah, so it, it feels like I haven't done much, but I have done some things. Um, seriously, what's up with that? So I was going to go through my list, kind of look and show you what I have and haven't done. Um, I did finish the blanket that I was doing around. Um, I will show a picture of that in the Creative Expressions on Monday when we talk about finished objects. And I finished another thing that was a really fun thing. I started this last weekend. Um, I feel so much more complete about a certain subject. I will talk about that in Finished Friday, or not Finished Friday, Finished Objects on Creative Expressions. Because um, it, it is something that I finished. Sorry, I looked over and I'm like, I don't think my cat, my plants are going to get light. Maybe I'll turn that light on them when I'm done. Anyway, random. Uh, so let's go through my things. First of all, before I click out of um, something I want to tell you, I have 100% decided to frog the St. Patrick's Day shawl. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the yarn, if I'm going to make another project or what. But I do know that I wasn't loving um, the fabric that I was coming up with. Um, it's part of the yarn, part of the maybe hook size. I don't know. Just wasn't loving it. So I have frogged it. And that's okay. Sometimes you have to. Um, at least, I, you know, I only got like this far. So at least it wasn't like way far. If I would have gotten way far, I probably either would have made it a short capelet or would have finished it and just given it away because that's a lot of work to frog. But anyway, so that is a thing. Um, so tomorrow is things we're making Thursday. Tomorrow I will talk about the bag, but I will tell you I tried to work on it t yesterday and I did. I got somewhere. And I uh, got frustrated, and it's just gonna get left. There is a mistake. And I'm just learning to just embrace the imperfection and that it's okay, especially because it's just a bag. So, um, yeah, there's that. I have not started. There's a few things that I really wanna start, and I just haven't started them, and I'm not sure why. Um, one of them is the Vortex Shawl. I really want to start that. I have yarn. It's really pretty. I think it would make a gorgeous shawl. And then I just don't do anything with it. And I have um, a, something I want to do with some leftovers from this blanket. And I haven't started it. Like, I just have all these things. <sighs> and I just haven't started them. Not really sure why. So I will I'm gonna pull this out. This is my um, alpaca scarf. It's gonna be a hoodie scarf. And I did take it with me somewhere last night. It was a little bit wider. I got a little frustrated because I tried really hard to keep working on both sides. Keep my increases equivalent but I found this is not a good take it somewhere project because I kept it working back and forth on the same side and instead of changing sides I'm not sure if I did increases on yeah this will be my next increase round or row I did do an increase on this but it's not where I wanted it to be I can tell from this that um, I went an extra set of rows before I 
put my increase in. I'm just gonna hit cut in here so I do know I did increase that row. I just learned, and it's not it's not gonna be a big deal that I did that. This one isn't like a oh no, I gotta go back and fix that kind of thing. It was just a, an awareness. It's like, oh, I didn't this isn't a good take it with me kind of project because I make mistakes and stuff. There was a drop stitch through here. I need to make sure that it's not gonna un it will be okay. Somehow it looks like there's a decrease in the middle of stuff, but it's not going to run away. It will be okay. <laughs> I was sometimes there's just random things that happen and I can tell just because of how the back of it is. Anyway, yeah, it's I still have a ways to go till I get to the, my ears and change how I'm decreasing but yeah this row here I will nope this side which is my next one I can tell where I'm working next based on my yarns but also because this will be the knit side and I know that that's where I ended because right now both of my yarns are over here but I know I need to do a decrease row so I'll do the decrease row and then do some pearls it's been a lot more complicated to work on than I expected. That's what I can say. It takes a little more brain power to keep track of where I'm doing things, but it's okay. Um, I may just start doing a decrease round on every knit row, and then that will be a little bit easier to keep track of, even if I keep going on one side. Maybe that's what I'll do. As long as I try to keep my decrease decreases even it will be okay and then the other thing that I have going on is socks um, I was getting ready to do this sock and realized I couldn't do this while I was out and about either because I need the pattern I need to pull out the pattern to put the toe on so I've attached and done one plain round around but now in order to do the toe I need to do some decreases. So that's where I'm at on that sock, is I need to pull out the pattern to do decreases. This one here, I'm doing one plain round. I'm halfway through the round, and then I need to attach my um, toe yarn. So that will be the next round for that. And then this one here, um, I have oh probably like four more rounds until I put in the toe on that one so um, but they are making progress and I'm going to sit down and pull out the pattern probably this evening or sooner um, I have an appointment this afternoon that I've got to make sure I get to and take my son to work but I do I want to pull out the pattern and actually like do it and get these done and they so I tried to make pro I tried tried to make progress on this and then realized I couldn't do it without the pattern so I didn't make progress on that uh, those are the three things that I took with me last night it was kind of a knit night kind of an idea it's a brand new place it's not a yarn store they've only been open for a few months and I took my girls with me and me my girls and the shop owner were the only people there but it was interesting to hear about her and kind of get to know her a little bit. But also not exactly the kind of place where I can just be like, oh, well, let me just keep working on my stuff. Because it's like, oh, I made mistakes and stuff. Temperature, temperature socks, they're coming along. I have not done anything on pretty much everything. Hey, these finished. Oh, hey. Um, you won't be able to see it yet, but I have made some progress on my mystery yarn challenge and here's something I'm trying to do for Lori because she has requested some kind of take us along your journey kind of a thing. Since I'm making up my own pattern for what I'm making with the mystery yarn, um, I thought that I would kind of take you guys along on the journey. So I'm creating a whole bunch of little mini videos that I'm going to compile together 
it's a part of finishing my thing so I did work on that yesterday um, I'm excited about it and I have some more I'm hoping to get hmm, I'm hoping to make progress today I kind of in my head have an idea of where I would like to get today so that is exciting and you know that's kind of where I'm at I just I feel like I just feel like I kind of hit a wall in everything. Yes, I've made some progress. Yes, I've finished a couple of things. But I feel like I've hit a wall in my work. And I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe it is because I have something, all these things that I want to start and I haven't started them. Or maybe I need to just finish some things or maybe I'm just in a space where I'm feeling a need to take a little bit of a break from some of the projects for a minute I don't know and it's okay it's okay to not know it's okay to be in a little bit of a slump sometimes it's okay if I keep telling myself that I'll believe it, right? I, I mean, I do believe it. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna journal about it, guys. I love journaling, just like a little blah and how I type while I journal, just because my hands don't love it when I journal. Um, so I type it out and I think I'm going to do that just to find out kind of what I'm filling and stuff. Is it because I have three sweaters over there plus the yarn for a sweater and I just bought the pattern for my Irish Shane Rain yarn today and then I have the uh, shawl. Or is it because I've ended up frogging so many things and I'm just kind of feeling kind of sad that I've frogged projects. I mean, I still have the former boyfriend of my daughter's uh, pouch just sitting there waiting to know what to do. And honestly, as I think about it, that's probably about when I kind of just started feeling blah about yarn work. So maybe that has something to do with it. I mean, because I did like have to quit that project for a while and it's just sitting there waiting to for me to make a decision I frogged two or three things and maybe that's what it is is that it just seems like I keep frogging a whole bunch of things and and I like the sense of accomplishment of finish finishing projects and so frogging them is kind of the opposite of that maybe that's what it is I don't know Anyway, um, before we go, remember to hook that subscribe get button, like the video, leave some yawn in the comments. I say yawn. Again, it's my daughter. She's influenced me. <laughs> she yawns when I say yarn. So if I say yawn, she doesn't yarn. And it's kind of become a joke. Leave some yarn, because I don't have a problem with saying yarn, yarn in the comments. Uh, remember to let your light shine through your creations. Where's my socks? I'll hold them up. Let me know what you guys are working on for your Whip Wednesday. What's going on this week? And um, remember, you are more than welcome to come join me in my, um, either on my Discord server or in my Facebook group. And you're more than welcome to come join and share what you're doing, comment on whatever is going on, and all the things. Remember to let your light shine, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!